Hello, how you doing? We're going to make some Legos using Inventor. Then you're going to do an assembly, and you can make your assembly just like you do with Minecraft. So you can see we've got uh, five basic shapes. You can make the shapes uh, whatever you'd like. We're going to start by making this single Lego. Then we're going to make this single road Lego. Then we're going to do a two by uh, two by two. And then we're going to do uh, like the bases that you have on Legos that you start building from, like your foundation. So the first thing you're going to do is start a new file. And if you have a Lego, this is a perfect opportunity to do some reverse engineering. So I'm going to start with the XZ plane. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Actually, I'm going to make it a square, 0 0.308 by 0 0.308. I'm not going to use any constraints because I'm going to want to change those. And then I'm going to call this 0.375. And I'm going to start a new sketch on the top. Project my geometry. And add a circle in the middle. And as I zoom in, I'm going to center it. And a green dot shows up as I hover over the top line. As I slowly move down, the dotted line shows up so that I know <clears throat> I'm right in the middle. All right, so I'm going to call that 0.19. Finish the sketch. Extrude that. All right, so I'm going to extrude that up 0 0.075. And then I'm going to shell out the bottom. 0 0.06 I'm going to make this ABS plastic and then I'm going to make it any color I'd like I'm going to go with red All right, now I'm going to save this. I'm going to start a new folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it Legos. You might want to st you might want to start one in your personal folder or your work folder. I'm going to call this single Lego. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a one by three just like that. Now instead of starting over. I'm going to just edit what we've already got. So I'm going to go here to sketch three and I'm going to right click, I'm sorry, I'm going to extrusion one. I'm going to edit sketch one and I'm going to say, hey, let's take this. I'm going to use it as a calculator. I'm going to just say times it by three. You can see the length times it by three. And once I hit finish sketch, I've got that. Now I'm going to do a rectangular pattern. I'm going to click on just the top, the direction I want to go, and I want to space that 0.31 away, and I want three of them. All right, last thing I'm going to do is color. Uh, on the bottom, it didn't shell it all the way. So, to save yourself time, you just grab your shell here on your browser, drag it down, and you can see it just shelled it. There we go. Now, there is a circle, a solid circle, in between these. So, we're going to add that. So, I'm going to go click on here and start a new sketch and I'm going to project my geometry and I want to figure out what my spacing is between there I already know I'm going to accept that so I can easily see it now I'm going to add a circle the dimension of this circle is point 115 
and I want to dimension that to be halfway in between. So I'm going to use some formulas. I'm going to go equals this, and half would be divided by 2. Finish our sketch. Extrude this. As you can see, it gets extruded quite a bit. We want it to go to the same distance. So I'm going to hit 2, and then I'm going to click on this face right here. Check it off. And now I'll rectangular pattern that. The direction I want to go, it's already pointed down. If yours is pointed up, you'll just hit flip. And I want to go 0.31. So you can see if yours was pointed up, it'd look like that. Or mine down. Hit OK. And the last thing I'm going to do is change the color. I want this one to be blue. And now it's still saved as single Lego. So I want to save it as 1 by 3. So I'm going to go to my I and save as. Don't click save because then you'll, you won't have your single Lego anymore. So I'm going to call this 1 by 3 Lego. Save. 